So, hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today I am doing my Breath of the Wild Athan TBR and this time it's the Va Ruta quest. So this one will take place from September 20th to October 20th. Um, so all the information I will leave down below. Um, so yeah, but basically first you must choose which path you want to take and uh, the path has uh, different perks that will help you will help you along the way so um one of the perks is basically if you got the glider perk from last round then you can complete all five rune challenges in now when if you completed all the five rune challenges from the previous round, you can complete your challenges in any order that you wish. And I got that glider perk, like, I don't know when that was. That was pretty early on in the, the month. Month. Um, it was in May. So, yeah, and then the team I have decided to be on is Team Revali. And the reason for that is because basically the perk is that instead of drawing a Blood Moon card, you can read any book of your choice. So I just felt like that fits perfectly, just because I have so many books that I don't want to leave anything into, you know, randomness so there are basically uh, eight different challenges but five are like challenges and then you have three bonus challenges so basically you only have seven different like reading prompts one of the bonus challenges is um basically to that each book you read must have a different genre and basically if you finish the bonus challenges then you will get like a perk for the next round so I have decided that I want to complete all the bonus challenges so all the bo books I have picked are from different genres so Let's just start and see how this goes. So, the first challenge is the Great Plateau, and that is to read a book that is out of your comfort zone. And for this, I have decided to go with Rage. And this is basically a Stephen King book that I think is this one that is not published anymore. Uh, this is out of print uh, because of things that is happening in this book because I do know that this book is about a school shooting so Yeah, but I am reading Stephen King in order and Stephen King is definitely like a Author that is kind of out of my comfort zone, but also the things that he writes. It's usually like thriller or horror and That is usually not my cup of tea uh, it's definitely out of my comfort zone but I am going to read rage and yeah basically that is like a thriller slash horror I think it stands in the uh, psycho psycholo psychological thriller um, that is like my favorite under genre of like thriller but overall, Stephen King is out of my comfort zone. All his books are out of my comfort zone because I usually never know if I'm going to like them or not. Uh, the ones that I have read until now has been like, meh. They haven't been like my favorite or anything. Then we have Bridge of Hylia, and that is to read a book where a character crosses between worlds. So, I have, like, not tweaked it, but I do, I have, like, 
chosen like a little twist. So basically, crosses between worlds. Uh, a lot of people will like pick a fantasy where it goes to where they go to another world or something. I have chosen Logan's Lady. This is a historical romance. However, the reason why I picked it for this prompt to read a book where a character crosses between worlds is because in Logan's Lady the main character is an English woman who basically crosses the um, Atlantic to a different world basically to America so, so she crosses to go to another world so that is kind of why I chose this because basically one of the things that is that like on the book it says two worlds so hopefully that one will fit um i haven't read it so i can't tell you uh, but that is going to be my pick for this and i will just have to see if it fits or not if it doesn't fit then i will pick something else but i do think it will fit because she basically crosses between worlds like she crosses from like uh england and over to america and that is two different like worlds basically then we have a uh, laurelin village and that is to read a five star prediction and the one that i have kind of put in this is no tomorrow this is on my five star prediction list so i hope it will be a five star um it's a pretty long book actually but uh this is like the only one that i might listen to as an audiobook i don't have that many audiobooks on this list so i'm just trying to you know get to it and no tomorrow is a romance so that's a different genre than a historical romance those are like two different things because historical this one is like a contemporary romance so it's two different different things so yeah hopefully i will like this um then we have the blood moon card and i am going to use my perk because that is to you know the blood moon card is to use a random card generator uh but i'm going to use my perk and basically pick any book that I want to read and I have chosen horse sense so this is basically in uh, the saddle club this is a kind of like middle grade slash children's book and basically it's about these three friends and they like riding horses so yeah here we have middle grade slash children's book so this is a totally different genre again so and it's also you can call it a contemporary and that is like something different than romance again so but yeah middle grade is also like in not a yeah it is a genre so then we have a uh, divine beast var ruta and that is water buzzword so uh like water in the title water on the front so yeah and I have decided to go with Water's Wrath, and this is the fourth book in uh, the Air Awakens series, and this is so, so good. And basically, once I saw that this, it was a water password, I was like, this is the only book that I think that I have that I can use for this, uh, that I know of. Uh, so, Water's Wrath. Is going to be my book for this and yeah I have like it's this one and then the next one that is left in the series and so far I've been loving every second of this series then we get over to the bonus challenges and the first one is a uh, dueling peaks tower let us read a book centered around a rivalry rivalry or a competition and I thought about this for so so long until I remembered that catching fire is basically you know centered around the competition 
So, in Catching Fire, you basically get like a Katniss and Peeta goes around uh, after their competition, but it is also centered around a comp competition, like at least like almost half the book, I would say. But it is still centered around competition, centered kind of around rivalry as well, uh, because you definitely have a rival yeah, with Peter and Gale, and basically like kind of also with Snow and a lot of different things you can basically say this fits for. And then of course, uh, Weep on Connoisseur, that is to each book you read must be from a different genre. So I really have been trying to get that. So yeah, uh, Waters Wrath was a fantasy and then you have Catching Fire is a dystopian that can be like sort of cut categorized as a sci-fi but dystopian is kind of its own genre from time to time but it is under like the sci-fi genre so that's another and then we have eventide island and that is to read a book in one sitting and i needed to do some thinking of this because i needed something short that i could read within an hour and for this one, I figured out I would go with I wrote this for you. And that is a poetry collection. I usually sit down and read like the whole poetry collection in one go. So that should fit. That is all the challenges. I don't think this should be a problem. Seven book books might be like a week of reading because I usually do read a lot of books so yeah but I might try to space it out a little but almost every single one of these are like books that I have been planning on reading in September like none of them are like October plans they are only September plans but yeah that was it for this video. I hope you liked it and I will see you next time for another video. Bye! When we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done